Trouble on the line. Warnings not to travel as Britain braces for rail strikes next week. Only a fifth of train services will be running, with almost half of all lines closed, leaving parts of the country effectively cut off. The last thing we need right now is to alienate passengers who are returning to the network. I am beyond frustrated. There is nothing that does my Swede more than the trains not working. Rail workers are fighting for improvements in paying conditions. The Transport Secretary says it is entirely pointless. So with the two sides so far apart, is there any real hope of a settlement? Also tonight... Talking tough in the Rwanda row, asylum flights haven't stalled, insists Priti Patel, despite yesterday's non-starter, while the illegal boats keep on coming. My courageous friend, the battlefield comrade, paying tribute to the British fighter Jordan Gatley, killed in Ukraine. He was a very incredible individual, and he's nothing less than a hero to, in my eyes, and to the members of our section, and to the Legion. Charges over the Yorkshire Cricket Club racism scandal after the sports bosses act on Azim Rafiq's allegations. And flaming June, fun in the sun, but health warnings too. On this, the hottest day of the year so far. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening. The full scale of the chaos set to be unleashed by next week's rail strikes became clear today. Half of the country's railway lines will close, leaving less than 20% of services running. There'll be no trains at all on large swathes of the network, with Cornwall and much of Scotland and Wales cut off. And while the strikes are planned for Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, Network Rail admits it will mean six days of disruption. The tra Transport Secretary called the action entirely pointless. Talks to avert the strikes appear to be going nowhere and people have been warned only to travel if it's absolutely essential. With all the details, here's Rebecca Barry. <laughs> that is one exciting day at school. That's it for now. Julie's here with news at 10, but from the evening news team, bye-bye. Think you can ride in the Tour de France?